Now, fortunately, a lot of us missed the hail this morning, but not the lightning. A brilliant light show flashed across our area, and meteorologist Jared Silverman has more in today's Weather Minds. Lightning and thunder, of course, are a cause and effect. First comes the lightning, which, by the way, a strike is five times hotter than the sun. The rapid expansion of air creates the sound of thunder, that thunder clap. But just how fast does the thunder travel? Well, we know that the speed of sound isn't nearly as fast as the speed of light, so thunder travels at around 750 miles per hour. Notice how the colder the air, the slower it moves, and the warmer the air, the less dense, so it actually can move faster. Good rule of thumb, it takes about five seconds to move every single mile or it can move as fast as one mile every four and a half seconds on a hot summer day. But it tends to dissipate as it moves a little bit farther out. So you can actually see the lightning, but you can't hear it. This is known as heat lightning when it's seen but not heard. Why does this happen? Well, because when an observer has an advantage point looking up, their line of sight doesn't take on the curvature of the Earth's surface. That means that they can only see the illuminated cloud tops, and by the time the sound of the thunder gets out there, more than 10 miles, it completely dissipates and you can't hear it anymore. We always remind you a few safety tips. Listen to Ken's 5 and NOAA Radio, and always remember when thunder roars, go indoors and stay put until you don't hear it anymore. Keep away from windows, avoid electrical equipment, and stay away from corded phones.